In the last video, we looked at how to insert a pivot table into your workbook. We're going to continue on that theme and look at how to sort and filter data in the pivot table. I'll just run through the basics of inserting the pivot table again. We've got a set of data. All we need to do is make sure we've got at least one cell on that data selected. And then select the Insert tab and then the Pivot Table button. We can then make sure that we've got the correct cell range selected and where we want to put the pivot table. I selected a new worksheet and this is what's been created. We've got the area for the pivot table here and this is how we set things up. And if you remember, we simply clicked and dragged these field names into the areas underneath. For example, we could have um, category as the report filter. We could have country as the row labels. And you can see the way in which the data table has been built up here. We could have sales as the values. And it automatically sums the sales. But remember, we can change those to count and averages. And let's have year as the column labels. So there's our basic pivot table that's been created where we can see we've got the category across the top, we've got the countries down the left hand side and then the amount of sales, summed sales, the amount of sales for each area in each year group. So Wales only had sales in the year 2000 amounting to 12.55. Uh, 12 so let's have a look how to filter and sort this information. Anywhere where there's a drop-down arrow, that signifies that it's one of the fields that we've been using from here, and that we can filter or sort based on that information. So for example, let's have a look at the category. We can select the drop-down arrow and choose whether to have all the categories or select certain categories. Let's just have the figures for paper sales. I click on paper supplies and click on OK. This data has now been updated to only show the figures for paper supplies. Let's change that. You can see the, the icon has changed now. It shows that we're being filtered. Click the filter icon. Let's choose ink and toner and then OK. This time we can see the figures just for ink and toner. Finally, again click the filter icon. If you want to select for more than just one item, we can use the select multiple items tick box, which allows us to put ticks in as many of these boxes as we would like. And show the figures just for those sections. So this is going to show figures just for computer supplies, ink and toner, office furniture. And there the figures have been updated. All these figures are cumulative so I can leave that filter on there and continue to work on some of the other fields. For example, let's have a look at the country. Click the drop down. Instead of all the countries, let's just look at the figures for Wales and Spain and click OK. And there are the figures for just Wales and Spain. You can see again the icon has changed to show filtered effect. Let's select them all again and then OK. We can also use the label filters and value filters to bring up a more complex search. So if we do label filters first, we've got all these things to choose from. We can have equals, does not equals, begins with. For example, you could find all the countries that begin with the letter E. Or G. Let's try that. Begins with G. And OK. And there's the figures for just the countries that begin with G. Filter again. And you can see now we've got a tick next to the label filters to show that we've got a filter on. And we've got a tick next to begins with. And we can use a clear filter icon or menu option. It's there and here. To remove the filters. 
let's try this one and filter just for the year 2002 and 2000 and OK. And it's just showing the figures for that. And this also has the label and value filters. The label filters is looking for the field category name, the year 2000, 2003, etc., et or the country. The value allows you to filter for the actual values within the data set. Let's just have a look at the data. In fact, I'll choose all the figures, select all. There, we've got all the filters off now. You see, we've got a range of figures in here from 1 up to 12. Let's try and filter um, based on these values. And we could do it either on the, the um, country labels or the, the year labels. And we do it by selecting the value filters. Let's look for values greater than um, 6. Click on OK. And you can see there we're just showing. No, we're not. And that's because the filter isn't quite doing what we think it should be doing. We can't actually filter on these values within the data set because there might be more than one value. For example, Scotland's got a value less than six and more than six. What it's actually doing is filtering based on the column totals. And there are no, co all the column totals there for, were for greater than six. Let's change this. Instead of saying six, let's choose a column total of greater than 18 and see what happens. So we go back into the filter, choose value filters, greater than, and let's change it to 18 and see what we get. You can see now we're showing just the column totals with a total of more than 18. If I remove the filter, we can see the columns with values less than 16. If we use the country, the row label filters, then it'll be using the row column, t the, the row column titles, the row totals. So let's have a look at that. We'll choose value filters, less than, and we'll choose nine. So we should be looking at this grand total here and only showing the values less than nine. Yep, and it's shrunk those down. So you've got to be careful um, and really experiment really with what it is you're you trying to achieve. We'll remove that filter. So we can do filtering using those um, drop down arrows to, to filter on the different areas and we can sort in the same way. For example if we want to short, sort the row labels we can sort A to Z and it will sort them into an alphabetical order. Or we could do sort Z to A, and that sorts them in reverse order. Same with the column labels, smallest to largest, let's put 1999 to 2003. Sorting largest to smallest has gone 2003 to 1999. Now we can't use these systems to sort the actual data, but if we want to do that, as long as you select um, a cell in the in the total there and you can use the normal uh, sort icon to sort smallest to largest and they're sorted in order there so that's sorting sorting and filtering in a pivot table